All right, hello everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Insup versus Michael or Mikel. Um, coming to you from Autumn of Leaves Manor. Um, well, this game and um, well being played on Autumn of Leaves, excuse me, while also taken from Fountain of Manor League Season 1. Let's go ahead and speed things up, at least get to that minute 30 second mark as time is valuable for you and me. Only thing that, well, all of us get the same amount of every morning or every day. And well, what we do with those 24 hours in that day is totally up to you. That is, unless you are flying and traveling near the speed of light where time slows down because space and time co are related. And I don't want to get any more into that because, well, I'm no physics professor. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down in this undead versus undead matchup. Insuff opening up with, well, Death Knight Ghouls. He will go be going up against M Mikhail and what is a Dreadlord first. All right, Dreadlord first, rather interesting opening. Quick sleep onto that Ogre Magi. We're going to see a couple of, well, attempted surrounds. They're trying to finish off the Forest Troll Trapper. Ogre Magi is still currently asleep. No bloodlust across multiple units. One of the ensnares did cause a bit of problems as we're looking at Skeletal Minions now joining in on the battle as well. All right, Ogre Magi, well, beating down that Skeletal Minion as the Ghouls are going to try and finish them off live from Crota's, Crota's home. Yep, it is me, Crota. Thank you for tuning in. However you may be watching, however you may be listening, thank you for tuning in as we're looking at the Death Knight. Now, quickly getting asleep from around the corner. Are we going to get a surround? No, no surround. The Death Knight is going to try and back away the other way. Meanwhile, the ghouls are going to be trying to retreat. No level 2 for that Dreadlord. Level 2 on that Dreadlord is absolutely key as it does open up Vampiric Aura and will allow for a little bit of additional heals. Damage going to be adding up here. Ziggurat is already nearly done. It is going to go ahead and be done. There is some light. There is some sleep. And now we could have a potential surround here. Nerubian Tower already getting added. Ghouls get regenerating a little bit of hit points. Trying to break free. There's a death blow to try and get the save. As Insup will be forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal. But trading a Scroll of Town Portal for a ghoul at this point and stage in the game. Well, rather useful. That ghoul does do a little bit more. But that Scroll of Town Portal well has to be replaced um, eventually and it represents well, a 350 gold investment 26 supply compared to 29 ends up having a slightly larger um, supply advantage meanwhile Mikel also getting in additional workers as well as ends up now feels confident going after this 5-3-3-3 camp DJ nom 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 thank you for tuning in as we're looking at the dreadlord with vampiric aura really dealing quite a bit of damage to all of these units back at home we are looking at the Ner nerubian tower there the death coil is not going to be able to nuke down enemy units as they are also undead making the death knight's options well or making the vampiric option um a little bit of a a little bit of a much more i guess tempting yes the 200 hit points or the 200 hit point heal is a sudden burst heal compared to the the dreadlord who could be trying to get in some heals as well you're gonna see a little bit of damage taken in and then taken back but it is going to be much more difficult to try and even figure out which target to heal if they are not all um, single firing or targeting as one specific unit all right one skeletal minion will get taken down surround now on the dreadlord dreadlord could have a little bit of problems he is down to 500 hit points 400 hit points vampiric aura quite making quite a big difference there as the ghouls are trying to slice their way through dreadlord getting in a little bit more damage down to 69 46 25 trying to get in a little bit of extra bonus damage as well but the dreadlord well unfortunately for him he was not on blight while on blight you do have better regeneration right there he did not actually benefit from that bed from that additional regeneration and that could have been the reason why he was forced to try and do a little bit of additional retreating as the ghouls are now heading back as well dreadlord looking to perhaps finish off some more units going to finish off a little squirrel here get a get some skeletal minions to pop on out and get some additional damage dreadlord you can see every swipe does heal up about 10 hit points worth of damage and what is his level 3 ability going to be that is the question meanwhile in sup still sitting at um, sitting at level 2 we are only at necropolis as he has set up an expansion of his own but that is not yet up and running coming back through 
A little bit of gold getting mined away off over here. Double Nerubian Towers offering a bit of protection. The Dreadlord going to go ahead and sleep down another Ogre Magi. And this passive regeneration with all of this Vampiric Aura is giving that Dreadlord and all of these ghouls well, a, a bit more mana than I would have expected at this stage. And it is going to be that Carry On Swarm for a bit of extra damage. So yes, Carry On Swarm could be the level 3 ability level 4 ability and level 5 ability to try and poke away at some of those units get in some damage here acolytes now trying to retreat away as ghouls are going to be diving on in we are getting up a necropolis here as the ghouls are getting in quite a bit of slow damage acolytes trying to still run around move around quickly getting taken down pretty fast as well as the death knight but just purposely keeping some distance as the nerubian towers themselves are not going to be able to do all that much in comes the well the dreadlord more ghouls coming in from the other side here as the ghouls are trying to retreat away there's that carry on swarm ripping through getting a little bit of damage in sub gonna lose one ghoul here as it wakes up to see that it is surrounded by enemy units acolytes gonna get trained up here tech to tier two is already underway new necropolis being placed down to add in additional acolytes only two um, or two open spots on that haunted gold mine meanwhile no open spots here by in sub as he is also setting up um well a necropolis as well good morning um well Good morning. I I think your name is Quinn, based on that information. Um, on or good morning. Itchy is king. Thank you for tuning in. Ghoul is now trying to run around here. A little bit of carry on swarm rushing on through again as the dreadlord trying to pull back here. A little bit of damage coming through. Mikael doing a great job just trying to punish in sub's expansion here as the necropolis could end up taking a lot more damage. Ghoul is now trying to retreat or trying to dive on in and retreat back as there's just ghouls all over the place. And now we see a surround on that dreadlord. All right, a little bit more healing trying to come back through. There's another carry on swarm. Is it going to be able to rip through all of those ghouls? One ghoul down. Oh, there's another sleep. There goes level four. Is it going to be able to rip through more? The Dreadlord down to 85, 77, 72, 62, and it is still somehow staying alive. That Dreadlord is just constantly staying alive with so much damage. Are we going to see another death right there? Death Knight going to go ahead and try and get an exchange. And now there is the surround as well in sup. Um, finally getting his man but at the same time gonna end up losing his level three death knight as well both sides are suffering heavy heavy losses 49 supply compared to 30 as the ghouls are now making their way back over ghouls looking to try and put pressure here dreadlord shows back up onto the battlefield death knight also shows back up onto the battlefield he did use a potion of greater mana earlier as the dreadlord now trying to fight its way through nerubian tower slowing things down a little bit more heal are we going to see mikhail lose a, his dreadlord for the second time here that is going to be a horrible loss and even though they are quote unquote exchanging heroes in sub and as death knight has always been the one to be able to gain experience as now in sub getting a little bit more benefit there 46 supply compared to 40 mikel being a little bit greedy trying to push back in with that undead hero as the dreadlord gets resurrected from the tavern for a second time Redlord not having the mana, not having a scroll of town portal represents a, a big issue here as the Death Knight is going to try and capitalize here. But there is just so many ghouls out onto the battlefield as this vampiric aura could really play a very big role in impact. Mercenary camp, is it going to get hired up? Yes, Mikael does have a forest troll shadow priest and a forest troll berserker here as those ghouls of well of in sub really don't have anywhere to go this is a massive swarmy army of just dreadlord ghouls as the dreadlord now also picks up a mana stone for better mana regeneration that a mana stone representing well a decent amount of mana indeed more carry on swarms perhaps getting up to level three carry on swarm would be a sudden sudden spike and all of these ghouls would easily get taken out mikhail has to be careful with that low hit point shout and um, forceful shadow priest it only has 240 i think from the get-go as a carry on swarm rips through right there there's a potion of mana and now trying to move away once more dreadlord ghouls all trying to retreat back is the dreadlord be going to be able to land down another big carry on swarm that is the question already using well that mana stone already 52 supply compared to 50 dreadlord not going to make its way over level five gargoyles now joining in on the battle and here we are gargoyles joining in there's a carry carry on swarm ripping through ghouls going to try and get a little bit of retreating down as we're looking at a couple of ghouls trying to well fall back this could be very bad news are we going to see another carry on swarm rip through many of these targets there goes another one as well taking down another ghoul there as the dreadlord getting five almost to level six as the tomb of relics getting taken down all right dreadlord could be in a little bit of trouble going to be forced to retreat back acolytes trying to get in 
need some repairs. There's another carry on swarm. Thank you for the follow. As the ghouls um, are trying to well, we're trying to take down the acolytes. The acolytes were repairing that spirit tower, representing more damage. As the dreadlord finally out of mana, or well, we'll have one more carry on swarm here. As units are just trying to retreat back, there goes another carry on swarm as well. As the lich get down to frost nova, hit and run tactics. 34 compared to 36, and in sub able to hold on and hold of this defense here but he will be dealing perhaps with a level five, a six dreadlord momentarily are we going to see a goblin zeppelin pickup no we are not a little bit of micro slip from mikel as the units are falling back um hey harsh pickle um thing, things doing as well as they can um mikel also going in and transitioning into gargoyles you gotta remember though with the Dreadlord and that Vampiric Aura, the Gargoyles, um, the Gargoyles of Mikel are gonna really be able to win the air battle pretty easily. If you look at the melee damage, 61 to 70 damage, that um, that little bit of additional, um, a little bit of additional hit point regeneration translates into a large amount. But the problem is, Insups has such a large army still. All right, one gargoyle getting quickly taken down. Another gargoyle going to get taken down. Popped right there. Well, trying to retreat back. Is it going to be able to retreat back? Yes, it will. Trying to find its way as the Death Knight still sitting at level four, not yet at level five. Gargoyles, 410 hit points. Are we going to be looking at level 3 Death Coil or perhaps some other ability? That is a good question there as the, well, beautiful Carry On Swarm pretty much finishing off multiple units as the Dreadlord does have a Mana Stone, could summon down an Infernal and now causing more problems, death and destruction again. All right, Obsidian Statue trying to back away. Infernal has no way of, of attacking the air. We're looking at another, well, another Ziggurat getting taken out as well as the Gargoyle is trying to finish things off. Obsidian Statue going to get taken down as Mikael's trying his best to try and finish off more and more of those units. All right, out of mana now. Death Knight continuing this battle. You can see that Infernal Aura dealing damage all across and also being able to um, regenerate hit points because of that Vampiric Aura as we're looking at another Ziggurat about to get taken down. Mikael able to do a lot of infrastructure damage 46 supply over 50 unable to train up any additional units as the infernal is starting to take large amounts of damage as it's getting focus fire down gargoyle is continuing the fight here not enough mana for any more carry on swarms as the infernal gets taken down and now the death knight is at level five death knight at level five quickly goes into level three death coil and that level three death coil does represent a 600 hit point heal but None of the targets for Death Coil actually has 600 hit points. The Gargoyles have a maximum of 410. The Lich has a maximum of 525. So there will definitely be quite a bit of overhealing regardless of what he tries to target, at least for quite some time. Hey, Brian, I am doing, I am doing well. Um, trying to get back into the swing of things in terms of casting, trying to reestablish up my routine now that people um, now that i do i'm not am here to entertain and host guests as well gargoyle is now looking to come back over here to the bottom right hand side of the map perhaps the dreadlord is going to pick up a potion of lesser invulnerability selling some items scroll of town portal scroll of healing boots of speed scroll of town portal um, always a nice get out of jail free card as the dreadlord now wanders out all right, Dreadlord, actually a ra rather high intelligence hero now that I look at his stats as we're looking at the Death Knight now diving in, going after some of those Acolytes as well. All right, trying to do a little bit more repair. There's a carry on swarm once more. Vampiric Aura finishing off some more of those units. Death Knight now trying to retreat back as well as we could get a Frost Nova down. Scroll of Protection, Scroll of Healing, I think was used. No, no, Scroll of Healing was not used there as the units are just trying to retreat back. There goes an easy sleep. That, there goes a dead Gargoyle and right there pretty much in a moment's notice being able to focus down any unit at, in pretty much a split, split second. One, one, zero upgrades with the Scroll of Protection representing another level of upgrade in up going to have a difficult time zero zero versus one one and adding in that vampiric aura those gargoyles should be able to own the skies and be able to continue to regenerate more of those hit points getting things in their favor all right reduce death coil frost nova trying to finish off a force troll berserker right there as the insult now going to lose a couple of those obsidian statues vampiric aura working quite a bit but mikhail now down to 40 supply compared to 47 his army is slightly smaller as the dreadlord it wants to summon up another infernal but doesn't have the mana as of yet continuing to fight this battle there goes a carry on swarm and that could be represent a large amount of damage as we're seeing more and more gargoyles getting taken down 38 supply compared to 45 mikhail's army is actually smaller obsidian statues trying to retreat back low hip 
hit point gargoyles. Where are they going to try and follow to next as a low hit point gargoyle gets blasted right there? Frost Nova going up against Carry On Swarm, but the problem has been Mikel has not been able to keep tops, uh, keep on top of all of his mana as the units are now retreating back once more. Mikel in a little bit of trouble here, especially as the Death Knight and the Lich starting to hit their strides in terms of their levels. Level 3 Unholy Aura could spell certain problems as Insup now retraining some of these, or excuse me, repairing some of these Obsidian statues. Now, as Mikel um, has 10 minutes of mining left here, a little about 4.5 minutes of mining in the main base, the question is, will we be continuing that transfer to two bases or will they be trying to will they try and transition somewhere else perhaps trying to do an all-in i don't see expansion attempts coming in from either of these players so far as mikhail and insup now just posturing them or positioning themselves for this upcoming battle all right if level seven does happen for that dreadlord we could be looking at level two vampiric aura there goes a, a panda as well all under the battlefield which represents breath of fire and that is going to be big damage indeed all right in comes a stun onto some of those units in the back units are now trying to retreat away as the well lich and panda may be able to turn things around frost nova breath of fire to try and finish things off meat wagon from mikhail also trying to perhaps get in a little bit of damage but that's quickly and easily taken out ends up losing an additional well, obsidian statue there death knight now out here on the battlefield as well for mikhail unholy aura representing faster movement speed doesn't even have death coil as of yet as the death knight now trying to lead the charge here we see a frost nova there taking on a couple of those um a couple of those uh, gargoyles again as the units are trying to fall back mikhail actually in a little bit of trouble and down by nine supply is he going to be able to turn things around with this level nine dreadlord or will the lich and panda combination that one two combination be able to blast out all of these gargoyles that are in the air that is the question now as we're looking at the dreadlord comes in with the carry on swarm that is some big damage no orb of corruption death quail trying to absorb up quite a little bit more as the units are now trying to retreat back again infernal could try and make its way back over no goblin zeppelin picking up the infernal you know perhaps try and drop it back down here Goblin Zeppelin retreating away, and the Gargoyles are going to be able to own this guy. There goes another carry on swarm, another scroll of healing news right there, and now Mikael doesn't have that much mana. All right, Gargoyles trying to fight against other Gargoyles. It looks as though in sub, however, with the larger army, going to be able to come out on top there as the a War of Attrition. Because of the Frost Novas and that Breath of Fire, really tips things in favor of in sub as another Obsidian statue gets taken down. Coming back the other way from the top right hand side of the map, it feels like Insup smells blood and wants to close out this game. And instead, he's going to go ahead and clear out some additional creep camps, perhaps get to level two on that Brewmaster. That, or no, no actually going to be a bit shy as the Death Knight was stealing some of that experience. Uh, or, yeah, not the Death Knight, the, yeah, the Death Knight was, was stealing some of that experience over here on the top left what is going down here nope the granite golem does in fact have an anti-air attack and this is going to be a problem for mikhail mikhail going after this granite golem here trying to take it down and it is going to ab well, absorb quite a bit of damage the dreadlord however taking quite a bit of damage here going to turn things back around perhaps try and finish off some of these units and in sub now going to go ahead and take down the expansion there goes a breath of fire a little bit more mana getting added in lich still sitting at level three going to get to level four um soon as an acolyte gets blasted down still more damage added on through new rubian tower is going to get taken down spirit spirit tower trying to be upgraded but this may be too little too late as we see well in comes the dreadlord scroll of town porting into in, into that battle all right land shows up onto the battlefield death knight having cloak of flames still no um still no orb of corruption on any of these heroes to try and attack those gargoyles and th that's really what you need. The Lich has been able to really zone out and cause problems with that auto attack, with that range attack that also removes a bit of armor. As we now see a single lone Crypt Fiend out here onto the battlefield, no, th triple Crypt Fiends out here onto the battlefield. Big Frost Nova going down. Mikhail is going to be able to save a Crypt Fiend. No, it is not. Gargos continuing to try and save Death Knight of Mikhail, not saving up any of his units so far of opportunity gargoyles continuing to retreat back 51 supply compared to 61 is that what we needed the transition into crypt fiends crypt fiends now representing two with two one upgrades able to web down and stop these hit and run tactics 
Death Knight just shy of level 6. Lich is at level 4 with double or uh, double gloves of haste and an orb of corruption representing a fast attack speed and being able to apply that negative armor debuff. Coming back around Infernal now going to make its way over 49 to 60 chaos damage. Chaos damage does full damage to anything regardless of armor type but doesn't get bonus damage I at all. Units are going to be uh, falling back here once more Infernal looking to put in some big big pressure all right infernal gonna head off to the north here meanwhile acolytes looking to perhaps set up an expansion over here to the bottom right there's a manual right there acolytes are going to be in position once more death knight uh, well little bit of extra hit points it should help mikhail in this next fight here as well mikhail wants this game to go long is in sup going to be able to close out the door that, and close out this game that is the question now as the death knight looks to get perhaps closer to level three for level two death coil finishing off these rogue wizards i like mikhail's army composition the problem is the hero levels of in sup level nearly level six death knight nearly level three panda and already a level four lich and we are looking at level two frost armor on that lich interestingly enough to get in a little bit of additional protection dreadlord now making its way across over here perhaps going to try to get off get to this granite golem creep camp death knight is down to the south here and in comes up quite a bit of damage death knight could easily get some death coils off finish or a heal up that dreadlord here as that dreadlord is absorbing quite a bit of damage still meanwhile off to the north we are looking at in sub setting up an expansion of his own no big surprise there we are not seeing any straight up engagements as we see a second cloak of flames all right so standing next to the infernal the death knight and the dreadlord will be dealing 10 damage per second so um i believe the infernal damage is also about 10 damage a second as well so that is going to add up very quick uh, amongst multiple units as a carry on swarm rips through a couple of units right there all right obsidian statue is going to be able to finish off that last ghoul one or two more shots yes that ghoul getting taken down scroll of town portal teleporting to try and save the expansion here as the panda gets off a breath of fire all right scroll of town portal coming in back from the other side scroll of town portal trying to retreat away damage bursting down are we going to see some breaths of fire no we are not a couple of acolytes lost in that engagement there as mikhail could try and transfer some acolytes over mikhail is running up on two bases meanwhile in sup is regenerating a lot of hit points a one dreadlord blast from right here would take down all of those acolytes before they're able to regenerate all of their hit points but that is not the plan all right vampiric aura level two is online we're looking at an upcoming battle here we are there goes the engagement carry on swarm ripping through that front line obsidian statue taken down there goes the infernal taking on a couple of trees as well as there goes a crypt fiend both sides continuing to fight obsidian is healing up all of in subs gargoyles crypt fiends trying to fight back 45 supply compared to 72 and i believe in sub is going to take this game here there's just simply too large of an army even though mikhail had the right counters well in sub was able to hold on to his army build it up into a, well, an unsurmountable state as the death knight now tries to retreat back death knight down to dead as the infernal and the, the infernal and the dreadlord try to retreat back and there is the gg in sub taking a game off of mikhail let me know what you guys thought about this game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.